What's going on, everybody? This is Marcus, and uh, welcome to another quick cast uh, where, you know, I just kind of get loose on different topics that I'm stumbling on on the Internet or something that may come to mind or something I think you may enjoy. You know, I want to make sure I'm bringing dope content to to our listeners here on the Black Marion Debt Free platform. So we're going to be talking about uh, a very interesting topic. I have my notes here, you know, so we can we can get into it. As you know, me and Shire are real estate investors and, you know, we get a lot of questions on, you know, different things that have to do with real estate. And I think something that's really important when investing is to know your deal breakers, know your deal breakers. Let me take a little sip here to know your deal breakers. uh, One thing that we love to do and we recommend that everyone do is to once you have put in an offer and your offer is accepted you want to do what's called a home inspection now a home inspection is uh initiated by uh an earnest amount of money it's called an earn called your earnest money and you submit this this uh you know predetermined amount of money and it really gives you a grace period called a due diligence period where you can have a inspector come in and look at the home and to see you know kind of kick the tires you know and see with a professional eye if there's any deal breakers right you don't want to get married to the property you don't want to you don't want to fall in love right you you you're, you're in this to make money you're in this to have a healthy investment so you want to make sure that there aren't any uh, things wrong with the home that would cost you so much to where it would make the home no longer be a good investment. So we're going to go over what a couple of those uh, things are. So these are my four investment deal breakers. Number one is plumbing. OK. Plumbing. Now. If you have minor plumbing issues, we had a minor plumbing issue on our fifth property where uh, it was a P, I think it's called a P trap was, uh, it had issues and it needs to be replaced. Well, P trap is that if you look under your sink, it's that tube that kind of goes from the sink and it'll go into your wall. It's called a P pipe or P trap or something. I'm really not a, ha- a handy dude but it was very inexpensive to fix. So something like that isn't necessarily a deal breaker, but it is a plumbing issue, but a plumbing issue that is something that's, you know, backed up septic or, you know, something that's under the home that would cause you would have to gut the, you know, the, 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 the bottom of the home to fix this issue or a, a severe issue that could cost you you know thousands of dollars is something that you may want to you know consider as a deal breaker if you just you know needed to gut or you know knock walls down unless you're in this for to do a flip or something like that that may be a deal breaker especially if you're going looking for something that's turnkey assuming that this property is turnkey and then there are some hidden plumbing issues another big deal breaker for us is hvac Oh, yes, the AC, heating, cooling, and air, right? If you have a non-working HVAC or an HVAC system that needs to be replaced or a furnace that needs to be replaced, we're t- we could be talking five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, maybe even more, you know? And so those are, that to me is something that you, 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 would, you would really consider a deal breaker especially like i said if you're looking to to have something that's on the turnkey level right that's going to require some major work and it's going to require some major funds so another issue that i believe is very underrated but very important on the deal breaker scale and that's a roof Uh, depending on where you live a roof you know, replacement can be very expensive. Um, 
and it's 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 very important to the house right because if your roof starts to leak it will cause other damages potentially to your home so it's something that um, that has to be addressed right you can't really put that off and that is a very expensive project uh, that can you know cost a lot of money so if your roof's got issues and, and your major issues that's a problem and that's what I consider a deal breaker okay last but definitely not least uh, and this is the big this is the big the big whammy and that's electrical electrical now I'm not talking about you know a socket doesn't work or you know or, or minor electrical issues no 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 I'm talking about major electrical problems faulty wiring uh, bad wiring old wiring um, you know things of that nature things that are going to require you to knock walls down things that could potentially put your home at risk for fire that to me is like scary deal breaker right because now you're talking about the safety of people in the home you're talking about the safety of the neighbor you know neighbors and, and different things like that when you're talking about homes potentially uh, catching fire due to uh, electrical issues that is like a huge deal breaker and that's definitely something you want to look out for if you know you're uh, getting into investing or even if you're just purchasing a home just to live in you know that's something you definitely want to to really strongly consider maybe walking away from or maybe you can even go to the seller and see if they can address said issue right you always have that option so those were four investment deal breakers uh that me and shire have uh kind of you know compiled this list together and it's ever growing you know what i mean but you want to make sure like i said on the front end that you're not married to the idea of being an investor the idea of the home you're you, you're not looking at it with rose colored glasses but you want to look at it with focus and you want to make sure that you're getting into an investment that is going to make you money an investment that you can pass down to your kids an investment that can be in your family long term right so i hope you enjoyed this episode uh of the, of the quick cast um if you did man leave us a five-star review in the comment section let us know hey i really enjoy these keep these coming because if you don't they might just disappear you know i don't know so let me know what you guys think all right i hope you enjoyed this and i'm gonna holla at y'all on the next episode peace